Today we'll be taking a look at the Common Angle Theorem, which is very similar to the Common Segment Theorem. The Common Angle Theorem states if the measure of angle ABC equals the measure of angle DBE, then the measure of angle ABD equals the measure of angle CBE. Or the converse, if the measure of angle ABD equals the measure of angle CBE, then the measure of angle ABC will equal the measure of angle DBE. Like when we talked about common segment theorem, common angle theorem follows the same principles. If I have two angles that are congruent and I add the same thing to both of them, then those two new angles will still be congruent. Likewise, if I have two larger angles that are congruent and I subtract the same piece from both of them, then the two smaller angles will still be congruent to each other. So let's try a problem dealing with the common angle theorem. If you notice here, it gives you that angle ABC, the measure of angle ABC equals the measure of angle DBE. So these two pieces equal each other. So if we add the same middle section to both pieces, they will still be congruent to each other. So if you look at what's given here, measure of angle ABC is the small piece. ABD is the bigger piece, and CBE is the bigger piece as well. We know that the two bigger angles will be equal to each other because of the common angle theorem. So measure of angle ABD equals the measure of angle CBE. And now I substitute it in and solve. So 4 times 2x plus 3 equals 2x plus 6. And if you're still confused on this step, try to highlight what you're given. You're given that this section right here, ABC, is equal to DBE. So these two angles are the same measure. And if I add the same little section of both of them, DBD, then those two bigger, CBE and ABD, will be congruent to each other still. OK, let's go back to the algebra. So 8x plus 12 equals 2x plus 6. Now we subtract 2x from both sides. I subtract 12 from both sides gives you 6x equals negative 6. Divide by 6, so x equals negative 1. And at this point, you might be asking yourself, well, how can we get a negative answer and no positive answers? Well, before we assume that this problem is wrong, we need to really plug it back in and decide if negative 1 can be a value that works. So negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, plus 6 equals 4. And 4 degrees is a possible angle measure. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, plus 5 is positive 2, which is also possible. And then negative 1 times 2 here is negative 2, plus 3, which gives you 1, times 4 equals 4 degrees. So all of these angle values are possible, thus x equals negative 1 is a possible solution. So the measure of angle DBE, this little section here, will be the same as ABC, so it'll be 2 degrees. Now in this problem, take a second and look at it. And give it a try. You might find you don't even need common angle theorem to solve for x, but you might need it for ABC. So take a second, pause the video, and give it a try. All right, let's give it a try here. So we have angle ABD, which is the bigger angle, which includes ABC and CBD. And angle CBE are congruent to each other. DBE is this section right here. CBE is this section right here the whole thing. And then CBD is this section here. So when we learn angle addition, we learn that part plus part can equal, um, well, it's not really a whole, but it's part of the whole here. So I can say the measure of angle CBD plus the measure of angle, let's see there, DBE equals the measure of angle CBE. And then just plug in. CBD is 3x plus x squared equals 28. Now we need this in standard form, so we need to move the 28 over, but the x squared first, so x squared plus 3x minus 28 equals 0. Let's go ahead and factor what we have now. Factors that go into negative 28 and add up to 7 are going to be, up to 3, sorry, are going to be x plus 7, x minus 4, so therefore x equals negative 7, x equals 4. In this case, negative 7 won't work because 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. So we're not going to use that value. We'll use just 4. So it's asking for ABC. 
Well, from the common angle theorem, we know that this bigger angle is congruent to this bigger angle. So if I take out this same segment from the same angle from both of them, then this smaller angle ABC will equal this smaller angle DBE. So if I'm looking for ABC, all I need to do is plug it into DBE. So 4 squared is 16 degrees. Okay, and that's the common angle theorem. I hope that you take a second on that worksheet and really look at how the angles work and how they're related to each other. Thank you for watching.